Okay guys, welcome back to uh, distributing costs. Um, I've been asked to do a direct method uh, problem and so I'm going to work problem P4-6 on page 224 of your text. And this is real similar to the self-study problem. So what I've got is I'm just using this cheater Excel worksheet so I don't have to do a bunch of typing. And I'm going to go ahead and start by putting my costs that are going to be allocated um, up here. And these are just coming off of the um, factory overhead sheets. And what it's telling me is that building maintenance has a total of $6,400 in costs. The factory office has $9,000. This is what I'm going to distribute out. Mixing already starts with $21,000. Blending begins with 18,000. You can see where I'm just grabbing these numbers off of the off of the uh, problem. And then finishing has 25,000. And I'm just going to cheat and add all of these up because I want to make sure that I get um, that I count for all my costs. All right. So what is the cost driver, or how am I going to uh, dole out costs on building maintenance. Well, it tells me on the basis of floor space occupied by the other departments. So I've got to figure that mixing has 10,000 square feet and I've got to know how many total square feet we're going to allocate out and we're going to allocate out 25,000 square feet because mixing has 10,000 Blending has 4,500 square feet, and finishing has 10,500 square feet. Because remember, I'm not going to allocate back to myself. This is a direct method, so I'm going to say 10,000 out of the 25,000. I'm going to say 4,500 out of the 25,000, and 10,500 out of the 25,000. So I can do it this way and do it by percentage and calculate these percentages real quick. Okay, so what I've done is I've calculated what percentage of the square, square footage, total square footage each department has. And now all I'm going to do is just multiply this percentage right here, 0 0.40 times the 6,400. And I'm going to let um, Excel do it for me. And I'm going to say times 0 0.40. Hit enter. I'm going to now I'm going to go over to blending, and I'm simply going to say 6400. I'm going to say 6400 times 0.18, and that's going to give me $1,152. And now I've got to allocate to finishing, and finishing is equal to 42% times 0.42, which gives me $2,688. And what I know about that is that if I do that math, that this plus this, this plus this plus this will give me my $6,400 total. I could have done it um, by square footage, taken the $6,400. I could have taken $6,400 and divided it by 25,000 square feet, which would have given me 0 0.0256 per square foot. And if I'd done it that way, I simply would have taken 10,000 times 0 0.0256, which we see still would have given me the 2560. Then I would have taken 4,500 times the point 0.0256 and if I did 4,500 times the point 0.0256 it still would have given me 11.52 so more than one way to skin a cat here but doesn't really make any difference which way you do it you know same same all right so let's look how we're going to distribute uh, factory office uh, we're going to do it based on the number of employees so let's figure out how, how many employees each department has relative to the whole Okay, so I figured out how many employees each department has. Mixing has 30, blending has 20, finishing has 50, which is great because it means I have 100 people. So I can go back and I can do it the same way. Divided by 100 
is going to give me 30% of the employees are in mixing, um, blending, divided by divided by 100 is going to give me 20%, whoops, 20%, and finishing 50 out of 100 is going to give me 50%. So all I need to do now is I go back up here to factory office and I say 9,000 times 0 0.30 will give me $2,700. I can say here 9,000 times 0 0.20, which is the 20% of the people who are in blending, and that will give me 1,800. And then here I can simply say 9,000 times my 50% that are in finishing gives me 4,500. Um, I could have done this the same way as well. I could have simply just said I have $9,000 in costs divided by my 100 employees would have given me, now I know that's simple math that I can't do this morning, divided by 100 would have given me $90 per person and then I simply would have taken my 30 people times $90 a person would have given me my $2,700. I would have gone down here to blending and I would have said 20 people times $90 a person gave me $1,800. Again, same, same, you know, doesn't make any difference, can do it either way. Now the key is, is to make sure that all of this um, balances. So I'm going to go ahead and use auto sum and I'm going to say how much are the total costs for mixing. And total cost for mixing, $26,200. When you go back and collect these total costs, make sure that you get these costs right up here right up here that the department started with. So in blending, let's see, we started with 18, we got 11.52 and another 1,800, which gave, gave us a total of $20,952. In finishing, I started up here with 2,500. So I'm gonna add all of those together. And the big key is, is whether or not this number right here this number right here adds up to the total up here. So I'm simply going to auto sum those three, hit enter, and ta-da, it balances. So remember, in direct method, um, we don't, the service departments take no costs back. They allocate out 100% of them, and they may use different cost drivers, but the key is, is that we have to make sure that when we're done allocating that the total costs that we started with are the total costs that we finished with. Alright guys, have a good day. See you soon.